You guys requested it on the YouTube channel inside the comments of other videos, and this time it is actually here. You requested the best RNA slot tactics that I can find and put together. I found three of the best. They include some of your biggest favorite creators of Football Manager tactics and even putting ChatGPT into the arena here. You're not going to want to miss this video. These are three very individual, very good RNA slot tactics that you can download right now and try out for yourself. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, but let's get into these Arnie slot tactics. First up is an Arnie slot tactic by Josh Daly. Now, Josh Daly puts out a lot of tactics content, and this one is a very, very good one, I have to say. It is a 4-2-3-1 tactic with a sweeper keeper on support that takes more risks as the standard instruction. A fullback on the right-hand side was sitting narrower. And a fullback on the left-hand side will dribble less, run wide with the ball, get further forward and stay wide. A ball playing defenders at centre-back with no further instructions on there. Now two midfield players, one box-to-box -box midfield player, a Mark Tyre and a roaming playmaker that's going to roam around the field, pick up the ball, support the forward line. One winger on attack on the left hand, on the right-hand side sorry, with no further instructions. An inverted winger on the left-hand side to come narrower and to tackle harder. A shadow striker on attack with tackle harder, a pressing forward on attack as well. Now you can switch these two around. It doesn't really matter too much about where they play. It is a positive tactic in possession. It's play out defense, overlap on the left, be more expressive, short tempo, uh, short passing, sorry, and a slightly higher tempo. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute to the fullbacks, take short kicks. Out of possession is just trigger press much more often with the defensive line being very standard. Now, because Arne Slot has taken over at Liverpool, I've run all these tests with Liverpool FC and see how he will get on next season. Now, if we take a look at the competitions for the Josh Daly tactic, as you'll see, I finished second in the Premier League with 85 points, finishing behind a big boy in Manchester City. No trophies picked up in this simulation, sadly. A runners-up in the UEFA Europa League. Knocked out in the semi-final of the FA Cup by Leicester. And quarter-finals of the Carabao by Newcastle. In terms of the squad, Darwin Nunez has gone from fighting in the stands to scoring goals on Football Manager. 29 big goals in this simulation. Salah, 16. Luis Diaz, 16. Even Diego Jota got 16 as well. Dominic Shabochlai also with 11. And Alexis McAllister on the same number of goals as Sabotch like Gapco mainly an off the bench option did score a fair few goals this season for the football club. I want to show you now the type of goals that you score with this tactic and see the beautiful goals that this tactic scores. Biggest win of the season was against Crystal Palace 7-0 and as you can see it plays some very very good football. We're going to run through some of the goals in this. Simakas is ball in and Darwin Nunes there with a one touch finish. Brilliant ball in from Simakas and that finish from Nunes was class. As you can see again Nunes dropping a little bit deeper finding Alexis McAllister, who runs into the box, dribbles, crosses it, and Yotta's there from that wing position to be in the right place just to tap the ball home. Now, set plays are important in this tactic as well. As you can see, the throw-ins there. I do count throw-ins as set plays, don't at me. And Diaz comes inside, does what Luis Diaz does, and just finesses it into the opposite corner. These are very, very standard goals from a Liverpool side. But it's the build-up play that I like with this tactic. Elliot comes into the middle of the park, scans, Plays a ball into Yotta. Yotta then progresses it, shoots, and what a finish that is. It's an absolute rocket of a goal. And these are the type of goals that you'll see and the type of build-up you'll see with this Josh Daly tactic. The link to this tactic is in the bio with the other two as well. But now, let's get into a tactic by Kempi. It's a very, very similar tactic to what Josh Daly has. It's two fullbacks on support, one with sit narrower. And the other with one rad, get further forward, stay wider. Sweeper keeper support, two ball players, centre backs with no instructions, a deep line playmaker with tackle harder. Instead of the roaming playmaker, Kempi's gone for the box to box with get further forward and mark tighter. A winger on support on the right hand side, shadow striker on attack with tackle harder, inverted winger on attack, and a pressing forward on attack. Positive formation in possession, we're going fairly wide, play out of the defence, overlap left. Short passing, higher tempo, more expression. That's going to be key in these Arnie slot tactics. He likes his sides to be expressive, and you're going to see that as a, as a theme throughout these tactical things here. Low crosses in the final third. I'm a big supporter of low crosses. I think they're super overpowered on FM this year. Counter press, counter, take short kicks, distribute to the back line. Out of possession. It's a, it's a, a little bit of a standard defensive line, a little bit deeper, a bit of a gap between the... 
Ball playing centre backs and the midfield there, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Trigger press much more often. Now, in terms of the competitions, Kempi's Tactic finished fourth in the Premier League, did pick up a Europa League and runners up in the English FA Cup. So, a major trophy in this tactical test with Liverpool beating Atalanta on penalties in the final. Tottenham winning the Premier League in this simulation. Well, that's football manager. It's just unrealistic. And don't at me, that's coming from a Spurs fan. In terms of the squad, what you'll see is Darwin Nunes is a theme, scoring more goals. He's got 22 goals in this simulation. Gapco got 14, Salah only 13, and Sobochla again with his trademark 11 goals, same as Alexis McAllister there. Now I'm going to show you the type of goals that you'll score with the Kempi tactic. Don't forget, like I said, all the tactics are in the description if you want to use these. Four goals against Brighton in this Europa, Europa League quarterfinal. As you can see, Virgil there, a little chip in from Darwin Nunes from set plays. Set plays again, key in this tactic. But I love the way that this tactic builds up the play. Shabotchlai finding Salah. Salah doing what he does best, progressing it down the wing, coming inside and finding Nunes for an easy tap home for another goal. This tactic is very fluid. I love the way that it plays. Again, like I said, set plays. Got Shabotchlai into Kanate, big ball. I mean, Kanai is wicked at that. This tactic's very great stylistically. I love the way that it plays. I love the results it gets. Go and use this one. Last and by no means least is the chat GPT tactic. Now, I asked chat GPT to make an Arnie Schlott tactic, and this is exactly what it made. Now, sweeper keeper on attack with tackle harder. Wing back on support with sit narrow and tackle harder. Both left and the right backs are the same in that position. Ball playing centre backs will dribble more and tackle harder on them. One deep line playmaker in the DM role this time on tackle harder. Box to box midfield player on tackle harder. Two inside forwards on sit narrow and tackle harder. One advanced playmaker on attack that roams from position, moves into channels and tackles harder. Again with the pressing forward. It's very much what Arne slot likes. If you see his fine odd games, you had Santiago Jimenez doing that kind of role for him. It's a positive tactic in possession. It's a fairly wide tactic and it focuses the play out of defense through the middle of the park to pass into the space, mix crosses with working the ball into the box, short passing, higher tempo, run at the defense. In transition, counter press, counter distribute quickly, take short kicks. Now what ChatGPT didn't do is let you be more expressive as the other two guys did have in their tactics. Standard defensive shape, higher defensive line, higher line of press of engagement, trigger the press much more often, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, step up more and trap outside. Now intensity is very, very high as they are. He is a Gengen press type manager, although I wouldn't say he's Gengen press level of Jurgen Klopp in my opinion, maybe a little bit of a step back there. But in terms of the competitions, I feel like the chat GPT one actually did fairly well for itself. It finished fourth in the Premier League Finishing above teams like Arsenal and Newcastle, that's very, very good. It got the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. So out of all the all the tactics we've tried, this one has been the most successful in terms of numbers of trophies won. Now, you could argue that the Carabao Cup isn't a major competition, but the FA Cup most certainly is. Getting to the semi-final of the Europa League as well, as well as finishing in Champions League ball. I think that's very good, I have to say. In terms of goal squad, Darwin Nunes got 27, Diaz 24, Momo Salah 23, Alexis McAllister 17, Cody Gapko on 12, Diego Yotta on 11. This tactic, obviously the wingers are very important as you see, 15 assists and 15 assists from Salah. So a lot of goals to be scored in this tactic. Let me know what manager you want to see next and I'll pick the best tactics and show them off to you. And if not, no worries. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.